Greetings, Internet. My name is Chris. This is my guide on how to complete the Rothgar Relic Hunter achievement. Feel free to look around. Showing you where it is on the map. Welcome, welcome. Come in and see all the wonders that the House of Orsimer Glories has to offer. Of course, there will be much more to see once all of our exhibits are in place. This is the newly established Museum of Rothgar. Authorized by the king himself. Our mandate is to collect historic treasures related to orcs and the Orsomer nation. I'm simply a scholar. I can't go searching for ancient relics. Okay, first off I'm gonna show you how to get the armlet of Toruk. Uh this one's not needed for the achievement. Oh splendid. More fodder for the mountain. I suppose that means we're gonna make another attempt to reach that wretched summit. Go present yourself to my lady. She should be on her way down the trail. Just anymore. you. Well, I was hoping for porters and guides and all, but I suppose that I can make do. I'll need to make a few slight adjustments to my plan, but this time we'll reach the Summit of Sorrow, I'm sure. We're looking for the shrine of the great orc hero, Tora Groegron. Legend says that Torag's shrine sits at the very top of the mountain as befits the founder of the original Orsinium. But it's so high up that nothing can survive there. Alright, so you get here at the end of the quest. Make sure you watch out for those uh, pesky uh, avalanches. They'll knock you right off the cliff if you step into them. But anyway, you'll get here at the end of the quest. I just skipped through it all because it, it's uh, there's just a lot of walking basically. And killing. So here you'll find the armlet of Toruk. And then, you pass out. Look, our friends have returned to their senses. Oh, I told you they weren't dead, Stiffens. I would say so. The museum specifically tasked us to retrieve relics and bring them to Orsinium. History is meant to be admired, not left hidden in the past. Carson's plan means I will have failed in my mission. And Lady Laurent never fails. I knew I could count Give me on a you. moment and I'll open a portal back to our base camp. A portal? So why did we have to make that harrowing climb? Okay. And then for the first quest here, you have to put a shield back to its place. This one you don't actually have to find. After that, you'll get a quest from the curator. According to the Berska clan's oral tradition, the helm was last seen in that area. Just be careful. The mountain and the land around it is decidedly treacherous. Okay, I just fast forwarded to where you find it on the map. This is... You, the quest will point you here, basically. The relic hunter returns. Tell me. Was your search for Ustadik's helm successful? There's a display case just waiting to be filled. So it really does exist. Sometimes you never know when you're dealing with myth and legend. Could I trouble you to take it downstairs and place it in its display? In the meantime, I'll find that list of relics I mentioned the last time we spoke. Alright, so you have to place the uh, helmet back as well. Um, same as with the shield. And then she'll give you a list of, I think, 18 other ones you have to find. If you check the achievement right now, you don't have those two, the shield and the helmet, crossed off. But you'll get that once you complete this quest. It's so nice to have a little help around here. Thanks for finding that historic treasure and setting it on its display. But this is only the beginning. Why? Indubitably, you've got a talent for relic hunting. I'd be remiss if I didn't take advantage of that. Here's a list of the relics I believe await us in the wilds of Rothgar. Find them, bring them here, and the museum will reward you handsomely. Remember to check the list. We have very specific needs here at the House of Orsimer Glories. Distinctive portions of history that you 
want to put on display. Recover enough of the Alright, now the real treasure hunting begins. You just see this is the entire list. It has the shield and the helmet on it, even though you get those from the quest. And you can quick slot it. Okay, so the first item on the list is the map of clans. I've cut out a lot of this because originally these, this entire video was uh, about an hour long and I've reduced that down to about 15 minutes. Also just sped up all the unnecessary stuff. So this is our first item we pick up. This is the map of clans. It's right next to all the sin oh, new Asinium. I guess it's just called Asinium actually. Here's our second item, uh, Nusava, <laughs> Nusava's Anvil, jeez, some of these names are really good, they're very easy to pronounce. <laughs> I think the third one is a mask. You'll just see me spamming cloak here to get out of combat. I didn't realize this at the time, but I didn't have FTC active. And that one usually tells you when you leave combat. So I'm just spamming away. Guthrax mask. Uh, if you're having trouble following all these locations, I have a link to a map and a thread with uh, hints on it in the description. This one is directly behind the boss at Mad Ogre's altar. It is an effigy, or an ice effigy to be precise. And I'm just zooming out so you can see where everything is in in reference to everything else, basically. The next item is a lantern. It's called Dwarf Light. This is my second time climbing this hill actually, I've cut it out, but uh, I had too much speed the first time, so going up here, uh, right, right over here, I actually slid off and died, but I cut that out. That's also why you could see me holding block there for a second. But here's uh, Dwarf Light. It's right next to another world boss. I think our next one we're gonna pick up is also gonna be next to a world boss. Oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah, there's the uh, Eye of Something Something, which is right next to the entrance uh, to one of the public dungeons. It's basically just to the right of where you'd go. And the next one is next to a world boss. So this uh, world boss up here is called... Um, King Chief Throne? King Chief's Throne. Throne even? Throne is not a word. Throne is, however. Uh, it's kind of hard to pick up if the king has not been defeated, or the King Chief. But you can see I just managed to get it here by stealthing up to it, picking it up and taking it. But unfortunately they do actually kill me here. Right there. Which is a shame, but I did manage to get it out. Yeah, pick it up as you can see. Um, there's actually there's actually a relic close to pretty much all the world bosses, I think except two. Yeah. There's uh, not one next to the nursery and there's not one next to the poacher's camp. This one up here, um, it can be a little bit hard to find which is why I'm showing you this footage here. It's in uh, Cold Perch Caverns, I believe. And it is a quill. The thing we picked up before was the scepter of the king chief. Just sped up all this stuff. Black quill. You can see where it is on the map right there. 
This one is actually kind of hard to find because it doesn't look like a quill. All the other items actually look like what they're supposed to be. The next one here is inside another delve. Uh, delve called uh, Orden Mine. You can see again. It's right, uh, it's almost straight west from uh, Turok's Ark, which is uh, one of the uh, points of interest. There it is, liquid silver. Hopefully, you could see the map. Then we leave the Arden Mine and we go over to what is called uh, Exile's Barrow, I believe. Now, this one. This one was a pain in the ass to find. This was actually the last one. The guy I teamed up with to find all these, there's the Exile Sparrow. Him and I spent three hours, I think, two or three hours finding this last one, because this was the last one. Um, some of the hints are extremely wrong as to the location of these items. Now this, the hints for this item said it would be in the Western Mountains. This is not West, this is almost in the middle of the friggin uh, zone. You can see it's right over there by a campfire next to two ogres. This one was very hard to find. You see it's right next to the skeleton in front of us. It's a big book. You can see where it is again. But this one was very very hard to find. Next item on the list uh, does have a few um, misleading hints because it sort of suggests that it would be outside the wall, but it's actually inside the wall of the fortress. It's actually inside a tower as well, as you can see right here. So we're going through the wall in a hole that is in the east, in the northern east corner of the fortress. You can do this without having to do the quest. And it's going to be right on the stairs, right there. The uh, Frostbreak Chalice, I do believe. The thing we picked up before was the uh, first charter. There it is. Chalice. Next item we're going to pick up is going to be the Heart of something something. It's one of those names I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Now this one can be kind of hard to pick up, uh, but some people before me have actually killed the ads and spawned the boss. It's the uh, Heart of Sanadunas. Um, but this this one is usually impossible to get unless you kill the ads, which fortunately people had done before me. Next one is inside a cave, inside a delve. Well, it's actually a delve inside a cave. I only found this uh, because of a quest I picked up in Ossinium. So you see there's the cave entrance, I'm marking it on the map right there. It's straight north of what is called Honor's Rest. And the uh, delve itself is called uh, Honor's Rest Catacombs, I do believe. Just looking around, spamming that cloak like nobody's business. Yep, catacombs. This one is nowhere close where the quest will point you. But you can see where it is on the map right there. It's basically the, what is it, like the northwestern part of the catacombs. Next item is inside a delve as well. See right there where I marked it on the map. It is called Tugasod's uh, Sanctum, I do believe. Yeah, I think it's Tugasod's Sanctum, something like that. Yeah, Tugasod. I don't know how to pronounce those names, to be honest. Make sure you see where it is, right on the map, right there. Again, where it is. Yep. Um, you will probably have to pause the videos when I'm opening the map so you can see it, because it does seem a little bit quick. But I can't really tell because I'm I'm watching a replay of it on this uh, little screen here, the review screen, whatever. Now this one was a huge pain in the ass to find. Um, and we actually only found it, uh, Padre and I. Padre is the guy who helped me. We only found it because of another guy on the forum. This is Centurion Signet. Uh, the thing we picked up before was uh, Tukasad's Bracer. Or, yeah, Bracers. I don't 
completely remember. And uh, there's another item right next to it, but uh, the the signet was incredibly hard to find because the hints were extremely misleading, it pointed to complete opposite side of the map, uh, and all the hints were just completely wrong. <laughs> you see here, Trinamac House Idol, and it's right next to what is known as Paragon's Remembrance. Here's the second to last item we come out to. Um, see, there's a troll here. It's uh, right along the shore. It's not too hard to find. And this item here is known as the Horn of Beasts. And now, lastly, the last item we need can be found inside all those in him. This one is a little bit annoying to get because you do need to do the quest in order to even get access. So you want to pick up the quest as soon as you come in the door from the guy over here. Don't remember what he's called. See I'm marking it here on the on the Malachi. overlay map. The pyre. It must burn. So this guy is going to give you a quest. It's It's a long quest. It took me about I think I've caught out about 18 minutes of, uh, of this footage right here, just in Old Ocinium. So after some time you're going to get to that door, you're going to enter the last part, which is where I'm at now. And then you just want to go straight ahead like that, turn right, go through a door right here. And this one's not hard to find. Oh, well, it is hard to find. It's actually a pain in the ass to find, but it's... It's, uh... It's also because the, the hints to it are incredibly vague. But this is the Hammer of Glass, our last item on the list. So uh, you can see the quest marker is right there. Instead of turning left to get the quest, I just, go, I just went straight and then found these beds here. And there it is. I'm just going to go through all the uh, items here just so you can see them. All their names. Um, this whole thing, this whole video here, as I said, was one hour. It took me about an hour without any of the way shrines uh, on a uh, max speed mount to get all these items. As you see, now we're back in the museum again. And we're just going to place all the items and we're going to have the achievement pop for all 20 items. Now, there is something that I've been unable to obtain as of yet. And since this is PTS, there are bound to be some bugs, and currently the main quest, uh, and some of the, I think one of the delves, the main quest and one of the delves are bugged, which means you cannot complete the, uh, the actual thing that will give you costumes, because uh, I showed you how to get uh, all 20 of these relics, and I showed you how to get the uh, uh, Torox armlet, I think it is. Oh, armlet of Torok. I don't remember what it's called exactly. I showed you how to get those, but there's one item missing. And this item you'll see when you get the list. It's actually the item behind where you put the uh, armlet of Torok. But this item you will only get once you're the hero of Rothgar. Now to become the hero of Rothgar, and this is just pure speculation, um, Padre and I have sort of like thought that you, well I think it was mainly Padre's idea that you would have to do the entire achievement collection where you do uh, do the achievement collection called Hero of Rothgar and then once you do that you'll get the achievement, or not the achievement, you'll get the quest to go pick up the last item and then once you pick up the last item and finish the museum, museum collection that will uh, that will give you the costumes or at least that's the idea um, anyway, I hope you liked this video here. Uh, I hope it was helpful. I've already done a map, as I said, and there are hints, or well, I have a description. In the description, I have uh, a link to a thread on the forum with hints to it, to all these locations. If you don't want to, uh, well, if, if you need more help with it, I guess. And I also have a map, if you want that. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty decent map I made in paint. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a pro with paint.
But you can see here, I'm moving to the last page, which says, the greatest relic of King Toru's companion, lost to the ages, can only be uh, recovered by a true hero of Rothgar. And once you're a true he hero of Rothgar, you'll be contacted by the curator to find this item. Um, and I think I've already found the entrance to the place you need to go, and it's up here in the north. But you can see I am on the map right there. Uh, it's not marked on the map. Anyway, so I hope you, you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if it was, please make sure to leave a like. Thanks for watching.